The eye emotional processes chart of emotions, being a law of attraction tool, relies on Nikola Tesla's theory. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. The chart of emotions invokes these secrets by allowing a person to tap into the energy, frequency, and vibration of their own emotions and how they are directly related to the color bands of each related process on our chart. Each of these process color bands, including the violet and white colors, are related to different energy, frequency, and vibrational levels, and this video explains how. The chart's emotions also connects to Newton's color frequency theory, whereby color relates to the speed of light at 300,000 kilometers per second. Therefore, to understand colour frequencies and how they relate to the different colours on the eye emotional processes chart of emotions, it is also helpful to understand that light is electromagnetic energy with frequency, wavelength and energy associations. Now before I go any further, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Amanda Lynn, internationally accredited kinesiologist, brain educator and the founder of Eye Emotional Processes. Now back to understanding the secrets of the universe in terms of energy, frequency and vibration and how you can access it to manifest life improvements. High frequency light has short wavelengths and high energy. For example, white is a high frequency light which has shorter wavelengths beyond 400 nanometers and exists at the same level as cosmic and gamma rays. When we also relate this theory to the chart, this means that white and violet coloured emotions at the top of the chart also have a higher frequency of light and higher energy. When you understand colour frequencies alongside the chart of emotions, it's easy to recognise that feelings of love, hope, calm and gratitude, which are identified in the white and violet emotions on the chart, have shorter wavelengths beyond 400 nanometers at the same level as gamma rays and cosmic rays. These high frequency, high energy emotions are the reason you feel so good when you experience them. More so because the law of attraction is magnetized to your emotions and feelings. When you're in a high vibe emotions on the chart, you can easily access the cosmic rays of the universe where manifesting becomes effortless despite your current problems or blocks. The issue is most people don't know about how they can raise their vibe. They know they need to, but they really want the techniques that will help them make the sustainable, life-changing vibe changes they want so they can manifest improvements in their life. And that's where our chart and their related processes come in. Let me show you how. Opposite to the high vibe end of the electromagnetic spectrum of light and emotions are things that are the lowest frequency because they have the longest wavelengths of 700 nanometers. Things of low frequency and low energy include any type of radiation, radio waves and microwaves. When we also relate this theory to our chart of emotions, that means that the red coloured emotions at the very bottom of the chart also have a very low frequency of light and a very low energy. Process red emotions when related to Newton's colour light theory also means they hold wavelengths of 650 nanometers at the end of the spectrum. It is easy to relate to how slow and dense the processed red emotions are when we recall a time or think of someone who was feeling despair, powerlessness, no choice or shock. These really are draining emotions, aren't they? And you can see why, when you look at the science behind the emotions, the energy wavelengths and the frequency theory of process red emotions. Simply put, process red emotions of despair, powerlessness, no choice and shock hold a wavelength of 650 nanometers, placing those feelings at a near frequency to that of a microwave. Yuck! To put it into perspective in your life, does a personal relationship you have sometimes feel like it's radioactive? Meaning it's decaying, it's draining your energy, it's destructive? I'm sure you can relate. 
That's because that relationship is filled with situations where you're shocked by another person's words, behaviours or actions, or left in despair whenever they cheat on you, abuse you or deceive you. It's all low vibe, isn't it? And so are those emotions attached to it. Now it's time to look at the emotions between the red and the violet on the chart of emotions up in here. See this vibe line here on the chart? It's there to show you that when you're experiencing feelings above the vibe line, you are directly aligned with the high vibe, high energy of the cosmic rays of the law of attraction where you can manifest with ease. This high vibe area is where problems and dramas just melt away without much human effort at all because that's when miracles come along from the realm of the high vibe light space. But, and it's a very big but, it is up to you to take responsibility for chart check-ins and to check your emotional energy vibe and listen to one of our gentle brain rewiring processes if you find yourself below the vibe line about a situation, a relationship, a circumstance. Why? Because back to the science, when you're below the vibe line, your emotional energy, wavelength and frequency is not aligned to the law of attraction and it's heading towards, in this case, the process red emotions, a wavelength which is the same level as a microwave, radio wave and radiation. You don't want that because with that, you won't be able to manifest life improvements and manifest out of the mess you're in. Here's why. Emotions are tied to relationships, circumstances, and the things you've gone through, including past events. If you feel low vibe emotions about anything in your life, including past memories, I guarantee you that nothing will change or improve until your own emotional energy, wavelength and frequency does. And that's where our processes come in because they help you rewire and reframe your low vibe emotions, thoughts and beliefs into high vibe frequencies within 17 to 22 minutes at a time, depending on what process you choose. When your vibe is in the white and the violet about a situation, that's when miracles for improving your life begin to appear and become manifested. Now that you're grasping the science, let's look at another wavelength and how it relates to our chart of emotions. Take, for example, the light energy emitted by a sodium vapor lamp. Think street lighting, as well as when you're in a car and you need to turn your headlights on to penetrate through the fog so you can see a bit clearer as to where you're going, because it's just too foggy. These vapor lamps have a wavelength of around 500 nanometers and guess what? So do the process yellow emotions. Now, okay, the energy frequency and wavelengths of process yellow emotions, which are aligned with a sodium vapor lamp, are a big improvement on the process red emotions, which are aligned with a microwave. It's a big improvement. But either way, Process yellow emotions are still below that vibe line where you can't manifest life improvements if you're stuck in those emotions about people, experiences or the past events in your life. To put it into perspective on how this might work, was your childhood filled with parental or societal messages that you weren't good enough, that you were the blame for everything, that you were the problem? Those experiences have stayed stuck in your mindset if you're still thinking about them and attached emotionally to them. That's where you fall into patterns of insecurity, shame, blame and unworthiness on a regular basis. And you keep attracting experiences or putting up with relationships that trigger those emotions. When you feel that way, it sure feels like brain fog, doesn't it? Like you're trying to find your way through a thick mindset fog of relationship dramas and traumas that trigger these emotions. Just like a sodium vapor lamp on your car when it's trying to safely guide you through foggy conditions. But the mindset fog remains in you, doesn't it? And you keep wading through the fog of processed yellow emotions due to your own unresolved mindset pain as well as the continuing insecurities you feel when you're trying to get along with the world. And in the case of our example, 
especially with your family or your parents or your peers, if you are still in touch. That's because those family of origin relationships are filled with continuous patterns where you are made to feel insecure, guilty, unworthy, blamed and shamed. And I bet you sure feel regretful that you took a person's phone call only to be exposed to the same hurtful words and painful messages all over again where you become emotionally flooded and you're back in that process yellow mindset mess. These process yellow emotions are prone in your mindset and they are keeping you stuck in passive aggressive or manipulating relationship abuse traps with others. And you don't want that and nor do you deserve it. And again, I guarantee you that nothing will change or improve until your emotional energy, wavelength and frequency does. By now you'll be asking, how can I make these emotional energy wavelength and frequency shifts in my own mindset to manifest my life improvements. That's easy. I invite you to take a 30 day mindset change by clicking on the link and doing a chart check in as follows. One, write down what area of your life is not working out for you at the moment. The problem area that plays painful stories in your head. It might be your marriage, the relationship with your family, something from your past, your business, your workplace, your finances, literally any story that is keeping you emotionally stuck and keeping you up at night and having you want to improve that situation is what you do in the processing. I'm telling you, if you're emotionally stuck on a story like that, your vibe is too. And this 30 day method is going to help you. Now, number two, with the situation now written down, view the chart of emotions and ask yourself, how do I mostly feel when I think about this person or this situation? View the chart, identify your strongest feelings. The process color you choose is the area where your vibe is stuck. Number three, to release your vibe and raise it into the white or white areas on the chart, despite the issues that are going on for you. Listen to your chosen process every day for 30 days as you think about all the painful experiences or stress stories about the problem that you have or the person that's going on in your life that's giving you a hard time. When you listen to a process and follow the gentle brain rewiring kinesiology methods, you are changing the grooves of your brain to no longer get stuck in low vibe emotional states or negative thoughts and beliefs about your issues. When your mindset changes, so does your vibe and clarity arises and miracles and manifestations occur. 30 days of this activity will bring huge improvements to your life and your vibe and it is time you made those life changes that you desire and the ones that you deserve. We wish you a high vibe life and that begins with this 30 day vibe shifting method. Bye for now and be sure to join us in our community of people who are living the process life just like you can do.